I care about you. But it's not like I still have feelings for you in that way. Like I did when we were married. <laughs> I mean, I do love you, but... <sighs> Feel free to help me out of this hole I'm digging here. I get it. You don't want me to get so caught up in Marshall's past that I crossed the line. If that happened, I wouldn't be able to look the other way. I wouldn't ask you to. As long as we're clear. We're clear. All right, then. Was it worth whatever price you paid to find out what you wanted to know about Marshall? Marshall? What about him? My busy doctor's son. Mm. As much as I love to stay and chat, your uncle has something he wants to talk to you about. When was the last time you slept? You look tired, baby. I was all set to go home. Dr. Westburn okayed it, and then we got slammed, so I stayed. I admire your dedication, but don't forget to take care of yourself. I know. Dr. Westbourne literally just said the same thing, and Molly's on board. Okay. Well, I need to get back to my own job. I love you, baby. I love you. Mm. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So you were saying about Marshall? I ran into your mom by accident, but I wanted to talk to you about your grandfather. You saved me a trip. There's something I want to show you. Wait, that's Marshall's. I know. This is also from him. I wanted to leave you a gift, but all I have to offer is this gift of music. Like you said about surgery, it's part of one great unfinished symphony. Your loving grandfather. Do you know what he means? It means your grandfather left town because of me.